What's up guys, Crane here from LogicLounge.com. Windows 8 is finally released, and if you're wondering how to set it up, we have the perfect guide for you right here. Um, it's very simple, and this is the uh, basic steps for people who get to this point. And to get to this point, it's very simple. If you have a new computer with Windows 8, you'll automatically be at this step. But if you want to upgrade your computer to this step, you'll want to go and get the software either in physical form or in a software update and as soon as you do that uh, you'll want to install it either by burning it to a DVD or if you do have the physical software just throw it in your CD uh, ROM and go ahead and uh, boot from the CD very simple to do uh, and you want to then follow the instructions once you boot from the CD. They're very detailed uh, and just follow those instructions and you'll get to this point. Uh, and this point is where everybody will end up at because they need to uh, personalize their Windows 8 experience and set up some features before you move on. So first off, let's uh, talk about settings right here. Uh, you can choose many different uh themes for Windows 8 and it starts from the very first step really you can choose uh, to do some you know wild colors you can choose to do some you know not so wild colors or you know wh whatever your favorite color is or whatever you like you can personalize it I kind of like this dark with the uh, blue and you want to also name your computer as well um, because this is a virtual machine I'm just gonna name it VM uh, it you really want your PC name to be very short and descriptive it could be you know Creighton's PC your actually your name and PC uh, it could be you know uh, living room PC whatever just just make it descriptive is what I'm talking about here and then moving on uh, this is the part where you can go either two directions you can use express settings or customize now if you use express settings here uh, it will help protect your PC from unsafe files and websites uh, it'll turn on do not track for Internet Explorer it'll help improve Microsoft software by keeping them up to date and sending info and even lets apps get your current location name and account picture um, that's all standard stuff really and for most users express settings is gonna be the way to go unfortunately though people who do like to customize this we're gonna go through it real quick um, and I'll tell you guys people who have the uh, express settings uh, where you guys can pick back up so if you really want to just use express settings hit that express settings button or you can head over to uh, customize where you can uh, you'll be asked a series of questions. Uh, it's your first time on this network. Do you want to turn on sharing between PCs and connected devices? You can say yes or no. It gives you a very short description. I'm going to say yes. Um, and then it, how do you want to help protect your PC? Uh, it, you can choose your Windows updates. It automatically uh, install important recommended updates, automatically install important updates, or don't set up uh, Windows update. I would always recommend automatically install important and recommended updates uh, and then automatically get device drivers so it'll, it'll automatically get those drivers for you to hopefully uh, run your computer the best that it possibly can I like to keep that on uh, now for your privacy settings um, it really asks if you want to turn on uh, filters for uh, Internet Explorer so that means that if you go to an unsafe website it'll alert you before you go to an, uh, an unsafe website you can turn that on or off again recommended is on for all three of these settings uh, send a do not track request to websites that visit Internet Explorer um, you can turn that on or off I mean I'm really impartial to it um, and then if you want to send data back to Microsoft, of course, you'll get you'll really get nothing in return, but it really helps Microsoft improve their products. You can choose to either turn it on or off. It really doesn't uh, matter at all. Moving on, you can also uh, turn on Windows error reporting. So if you're having issues uh, with Windows 8, um, you can go and see those error reports. Uh, Internet Explorer compatibility lists will help uh, make sure that websites are compatible with uh, Internet Explorer uh, and then you can actually share info with apps. So if you're a security conscious person and you don't want to share your name or your account picture with uh, some of these applications, which really just use them to uh, to identify you when you want to play maybe games or something like that, you can either turn that on or off. And of course, if you want to turn on Windows location, uh, you can turn it on or off if you want it to uh, see your location. 
and that's again a, a, a personal preference. Now, you want to if you want to sign in with this PC, you can do it uh, multiple ways. You can sign in with a Hotmail account or an Outlook account, uh, you, an, an email address. You can sign in with an email address, and this helps actually sync to the cloud. Rather, if you don't want to do that, though, you can just sign in without a Microsoft account. Um, I'm actually going to go here and actually sign in with my uh, Outlook account here because I really don't use it, but I like to keep things synced to the cloud. So I'm going to sign in here and it actually checks to see if you have a Microsoft account when you enter the email address. Now if you do, it'll ask you to sign in and if you don't, it will actually prompt you to sign up for a Microsoft account. It's very simple, very straightforward. It'll ask you a couple questions like uh, your phone number, uh, just for I guess, security purposes, your email address um, to set up information like that. And then uh, it'll ask you to set up security information and then you can move on and it'll create your account on the uh, PC. So it's now finalizing the settings. So as you can see here, it's only a couple of minutes and we're already into uh, Windows 8 and now it's getting uh, Windows 8 nice and ready. If you did sign up uh, with a Microsoft email address um, and you've signed up with an email address, um, it will actually send you a text message, a free text message um, saying, a new computer has been added to your account. So it alerts you when your computer has been added to an account so that you can see if people are trying to take over your system, logging into your system. So Microsoft is really security conscious that way and alerting you um, if people have signed into your account. So now it's asking them to say, move your mouse into any corner because Windows 8 is very corner friendly. So we can take our mouse here and move it to Oh, I'm going to say the bottom right corner here. And now the PC is getting ready. Um, you can see this is very simple, very straightforward. Um, and to the point, we have this nice little color show now going on as it installs. Um, and this will take you directly to the uh, this new interface that Windows 8 has been so raving about and how people just love it. Um, I've enjoyed Metro. I, I'm. It, it's it's very a love and hate relationship with Metro for me. Um, I know I'm calling it Metro. You can't really call it Metro though because um, a company is uh, not very happy with them using that word. But I like to call it Metro since I've been a beta tester for a very long time now with Windows 8, almost over a year now uh, with Windows 8. So this is it, really. Um, you'll be taken directly to your desktop. You're done settings wise. It's now just setting up things like uh, you're in installing your applications. It's uh, setting up your accounts. It's uh, downloading your driver. So if you see that my uh, my computer was a little bit laggy or you saw that the resolution was a little bit off, um, it's not due to the computer being incompatible. It's not due to the computer uh, at all really until those drivers get installed unfortunately with Windows 8 the thing about it is that you need to install the drivers to make it work properly and that can be uh, a, a little tough with uh, bigger resolutions uh, bigger screens it may flicker a little bit like I th you might have seen on uh, my computer but don't worry about it that's just something that happens uh, when the uh, drivers aren't installed so You'll, you'll get the drivers installed. You can check for updates. Uh, and now you can see here that I'm now uh, put into Windows 8. And this is your uh, theme right here with all of your applications and even your desktop. So look at that. So of course, if you have any questions for me, email me, Creighton at LogicLounge.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, Plus, all under the username of Logic Lounge. And until next week, or in our next video, actually. We'll see you guys later.